I've got a question for you because you're the only one who can answer. On behalf of all the wogs in the room, what was school camp like? Because we were never allowed to go. <laughs> we were never allowed to go for no reason. Oh man, <laughs> you can't go nowhere. Why not? You make up all these reasons because it's raining, a hail, the snake, the spider, the kangaroo punch you. <laughs> And in Australia, come with a big bush of high. Remember the re- remember all the excuses we used to use as well. We couldn't go. <laughs> My teacher after a while goes, "Man, how many grandmothers do you have?" <laughs> this is the third one that's died this year. Hey, what do you think? <laughs> what do you mean you can't go to camp? You know, they, we were never allowed to do the things that you used to do. And I wish I had an Aussie mum, because you guys had the, you know, because you know what, you know what? Look, James. I don't really want to pick on you. I'm actually envious of you because, you know, the Aussies, you could do whatever you want, you know what I mean? Well, you could do things that we would never... Do you know how much courage you need as a wog to do things that you would do every weekend? And do you know how much courage you need to ask your parents to have a sleepover? (laughs) So you hear that? A sleepover? Just a sleep... That's all we wanted was a sleepover. But I would have a sleep... A sleepover? (laughs) What's wrong with your bed? Discos, we weren't allowed to go to disco, disco. You go in your room, turn the music up, and I come switch the light on and off, on and off, on and off. <laughs> All these young kids have got, they're going to having a gap year now, a gap year. Imagine asking your dad that you want to have a gap year. Papa, I think after school I'm going to have a gap year. <laughs> huh? What's a gap here? I like, you know, after school, I've worked hard. I'm gonna take a year off. You work hard. I need the gap here, not you. Mate, if you don't go to work, I'll give you a gap right here. Do you understand? Right, once I ask him, can you tell me about the birds and the bees? Yeah, the bloody rotten bastard in all my fig tree. Like these kids, <laughs> you had a free ticket. I <laughs> uh, see, I'm, I'm not only making fun of you because we were envious. That's why we were envious of you because you, you remember the Aussie, remember the Aussie birthday parties? <laughs> we weren't allowed to have birthday parties. The first birthday party I had, I was 21, mate. Do you understand? <laughs> Well, I used to love going to my Aussie birthday parties, my mates, because you get the whiz fizz. Remember the whiz fizz? <laughs> and all the Aussies, they had cakes like they had a football cake or they had a, a, you know, like a cake like a super action hero. What did the Italians have? A torta con cuore. <laughs> He's looking at me like... I'll explain, don't worry, I'll explain. It's just an Italian cake with liqueur in it. One year we had an uncle who had half of it, he got 0.05 over the limit. (laughs) Uh, I wanted to be an Aussie. We wanted, you know what, the wogs we pick on the Aussies, you know. But deep down, deep down, (sighs) we wanted to be like you, but without the food. Has anyone become a brand new grandmother or grandfather? Anyone become a grand nonny? You know, you change, don't they? Right? Ever since I had my daughter, my parents have become people I don't recognise anymore. <laughs> I don't know who they are. Well, I don't know. I need photo ID. These are not the people who grew me up. <laughs> and they, but you know what? They learn from your own grandparents, right? You know, we had my grandfather's 90th birthday once, right? And, and, and we had like 18 cousins, some of them are married, there's grandchildren everywhere, there's commotion, there's uncles, aunties running, there's, there's balloons, there's, there's clowns, there's music, and all the women in the kitchen cooking away, and Nonna's cooking away because she wants to make sure she does everything for Nonna. My cousin, outside, says to her two-year-old, ah, Daniela, don't touch, mum will give you a smack. Nonna, with bionic hearing, comes running out of the kitchen, ah, you're not touching the kids. 
when did this legislation pass Parliament? <laughs> Must have been after my last shafrata because I don't remember. If I was six years old, then I got my hand and put it on the hand and made a on the glass and made a handprint. My mum, get out of here! I kill you! Just come and spark with the My daughter does it. That's alright. Let's <laughs> just start. It just did a bambina. No worries. What about when they do this, the grandparents? Have you seen they become cuckoo? They do this. You hit yourself on this chair, this one here. Naughty chair. <laughs> and all the young people who've got teenagers, I don't know if you're going to agree with me when I say this, but I blame the grandparents of today why these little shits are spoilt. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you why. Because our parents give our children things that they never gave us. Yeah. Things like love. <laughs> Have you ever heard them say that with your grandparents? You know, with a girl, I love you. <laughs> I've never heard these words ever. <laughs> I love you. And I've seen a bigger change in my because you know our fathers, the ethnic fathers, they were warriors. They were strict. We weren't allowed to step one foot out of place. They become grandfathers. They melt, don't they? Oh, they melt, especially when you've got a granddaughter. They melt, you know. You know my, I've seen a bigger change in my dad than I have with my mum. You know, even things, small little things. You know, my dad used to pick us up from school. If I said to my dad, oh, pa, I want a McDonald's Big Mac. But no, this rubbish, this bloody pussy, not going to mind us. We go pick up my daughter. No, no, I want fries. And let's go. <laughs> And then, you know, because, you know, ethnic fathers are amazing people, aren't they? Oh, yeah, they can see while they're sleeping, you know that? <laughs> oh, yeah, how many times you come home, one, two o'clock in the morning, your old man sleeping on the couch, snoring away, remote control in his hand, you want to unwind, you take out the remote, you change your channel, as soon as you change your channel, as soon as that finger hits the button, he mysteriously wakes up, doesn't he? What does he say? Leave him alone because I'm watching. You were sleeping, I'm watching one, I open and one, I close. I'm like a ladder house with you. <laughs> and this is how I know the times have changed. Because you know the way you hear these kids, the way that they talk to their parents? I don't know about you, but I cringe, right? You hear them talking to their parents and I'm like, oh my God, if that wasn't me, I'd be dead. <laughs> you with me, right? I'm like having mini heart attacks. Oh my God, you're, like, you're freaking out. Because you can imagine yourself saying those things to your parents, you'd be dead, right? So, you're right, because, listen, Natalia, when I, was, when I was growing up, whatever my dad wanted to watch, isn't this true? Whatever our dads wanted to watch on TV, we had to watch, didn't we? Oh, yeah. Yeah. If he wanted to watch, you know, 60 Minutes, we had to watch 60 Minutes. <laughs> if he wanted to watch Sal of the Century with Tony Barbaro. <laughs> <laughs> Remember Tony Barbaro? <laughs> it's a bit before your time, Natalia. We had to sit there and wait. If you wanted to change from Channel 7 News to Channel 9, we had to sit there and shut up. But you know what my dad does with my daughter? He sits there and he watches Peppa Pig. <laughs> he gives him a name in Italian, Peppa Porco. He loves him. <laughs> right? You know? <laughs> and this is the thing, right? And, and, you know, like one day I'm at my mate's house. He's got a 12-year-old son. His son was up the street in the cul-de-sac playing, right? He wasn't even in the house. We were sitting there watching TV about half an hour. His son waltzes in. Doesn't say hello to me. Walters in, looks at the TV, looks at his dad. He goes, ah, I don't want to watch this crap. <laughs> if that was me and I said, I don't want to watch this crap, my dad would be changing the channel, oh yeah, with my eye socket. <laughs> no, you're not like, psh, ah, maybe this one. Psh, 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 psh. Right, and this is what I don't understand, right? This is, what, this is what I love the most. You know, my dad is really, really mellowed, right? He says to my daughter, we're leaving her, we're on holidays, we're leaving her, and he looks at her and he goes, I miss you. <laughs> oh, it's so nice. Ladies and gentlemen, the only time my father ever said I missed you is when he went to whack me and I ducked. I swear my dad learned how to discipline me watching those National Geographic shows. You know, where the lion leaps up very slowly on its prey. And you know, because all they had to do was look at you, remember? <laughs> Then they become ventriloquists, remember that? <laughs> <laughs> so they, they, they do this. <laughs> More men do this. <laughs> Peace.
Peter, you see, this is a lethal weapon for Italians. <laughs> He'd grab his belt and ask me stupid questions. Ah, ah, I take it off or not? <laughs> I don't know, can I phone a friend, Dad? <laughs> and you couldn't cry, could you? Like, pick it. My, why you cry? Why? Because my head's in Lidcombe, that's why. <laughs> How do they crop you crying? They smack you again. <laughs> right. <laughs> what about those parents that even if you were crying, didn't believe you were crying? Remember those? Hey, hey, not cry, otherwise I'll come there. I'll make you cry for real. <laughs> Did anyone have to be the assistant in their own beating? I had to help my father give me the beating. You go get her the broom, get her the broom. <laughs> I had to go and get the choice of weapon that he was gonna use to beat me with. <laughs> right? And, and <laughs> once I said to my dad, go, Pa, you need to go to anger management. You need to do the 12-step program. You know what he says? I can finish in three. <laughs> Step one, I grab you by the hair. Step two, I give you a bigger slap. Step three, anger, manage everything. <laughs> you understand, James? I got here with a shoe. I got here with a hammer. I got here with the electrical cord. Do you understand the electrical No, no, no. Of course you don't. You're from the cordless generation. Because <laughs> the kids of today get taught that if their parents hit them, they are now allowed to call the police. Uh, you know, because I used to see how Dar I used to see how my Aussie next door neighbour Peter used to get in trouble, and you guys was very different because you guys got sent to your room. You weren't allowed to watch TV. You had the naughty chair, didn't you? The naughty chair. <laughs> we had that too, but it got broken over our head. <laughs> Sometimes the Australians will get grounded because <laughs> if you're an Italian and you get grounded, you are buried. <laughs> Right? <laughs> there was no in between, right? And sometimes, so at school, right? At school, you know, the kids today get taught that if their parents hit them, they are now allowed to call the police. I wish we had that when we were growing up. You know what? We all went through it. We all, we all got hit. We all went to crying into our bedrooms, right? And, and, and we just used to wish that we could, you know, get back at our parents, couldn't we? We wanted to get back at our parents. So this is the time, right? Now, can you imagine? You're man, man, this book is <laughs> Imagine you can go, hey, Pa, time out. <laughs> you can't touch me. Because <laughs> if you touch me, I'll call the police. <laughs> you know what my dad would do, Stefania? Ah, oh, nice, here, here's the telephone. <laughs> you want me to push the number for you? <laughs> call the police. <laughs> and then a call a l'ambulance. <laughs> No, call two ambulance, one for you and one for the police. <laughs> and if you think I'm joking, you can ask him himself. My dad and mum are right here. Yeah. Give him a cheer. Stand up, mum and dad. <laughs> there they 